And what are your biggest challenges in the Saudi market? There are no big games out there, so we don't really have a local role model that we can follow. The fact that there is no technical training around available either has been a huge challenge. There are a few things, you know, a couple of problems that we always talk about and they're, they're not, you know, about to be uh, solved anytime soon. I mean, payment is one of them. Uh, you have to have a way for people to, to, to you know, pay to developers uh, and for, for merchants to process payments easily uh, and effectively. Uh, so that's, that's one thing. And then there's the regulation that, that helps startups. Stuff like, uh, you know, stocks, different levels of stocks. So you can have preferred stocks for investors. So you can have stock options for your, your, your employees and, and your uh, uh, the team that you're working with. These are probably the two most things that, that you know, I've, I've faced as challenges uh, as a startup. Employment is, uh, is one of those biggest things. They miss the mentorship services in Saudi Arabia. When, uh, when an aspiring entrepreneur tries to apply for funding or for, uh, to be incubated in business incubators, these aspiring entrepreneurs didn't have any channel that guide them to reach to that point where they can find all the requirements of applying for funding or applying for being incubated. Mainly breaking the barrier and the partition between the male and female in the industry. Because at the end we're all doing the same job, delivering the same uh, output, and we're all serving this company, uh, our country. Sorry. So it's not about the gender, it's more about the quality of the work that you're delivering.